हेलो स्टूडेंट माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर गड़ा केसेस फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला स्टूडेंट वो आर लर्निंग द फाइनल ईयर सब्जेक्ट दैट इज द सोलर एंड वाइंड एनर्जी सो फ्रॉम दैट सब्जेक्ट वो आर लर्निंग दैट यूनिट नंबर फोर दैट इज द केस स्टडी ऑन द सोलर एनर्जी एप्लीकेशन अप टू द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन द फर्स्ट केस स्टडी रिलेटेड टू द सोलर एनर्जी एप्लीकेशन दैट इज नथिंग बट द केस स्टडी ऑन द सोलर फूड ड्रायर ओके एंड ऑल्सो रिलेटेड टू द सेकेंड केस स्टडी दैट इज द केस स्टडी रिलेटेड टू द पैराबोलिक डिश सोलर कुकर वी हैव डिस्कस सम टॉपिक्स ओके सो लेट सी विच टॉपिक वेच वी हैव डिस्कस अप टू द लास्ट लेक्चर what is a solar cooker that we have seen working principle of solar cooker also we have seen application of solar cooker advantages and disadvantages of solar cooker also we have seen in the last lecture so in the today's lecture we are going to see the next topic related to the so, uh, solar cooker that is nothing but the types of solar cooker so let's see here four types of solar cookers are given box type solar cooker panel type solar cooker parabolic type solar cooker vacuum tube solar cooker and at the last we have to see actual case study related to the solar cooker all of you understand so two topics are remain out of that first topic we are going to cover in the today's lecture that is nothing but the types of solar cooker so generally so many types of solar cookers are there but out of that four main types of solar cookers are there that are generally box type solar cooker panel type solar cooker parabolic type solar cooker and vacuum tube solar cooker so that are the four types of solar cookers available so what is a solar cooker which are its application advantages disadvantages that all basic points we have seen now you will easily understand the types of solar cooker so let's see one by one all four types of solar cooker so first solar cooker that is the hot box solar cooker that is we have seen the box type solar cooker so let's see what is the box type solar cooker this is an insulated square or rectangular box solar cooker box type as per the name box type means rectangular or square box is there for the cooker so which comes with the glass lid there are multiple panels which focus the sunlight's radiation into the internal side the flat black color over it enables a better absorption of the heat all of you understand box type solar cooker means what the cookers are of the box or square or rectangular shape um, inside the outside that there is a uh, black uh, colored metal plate is there which will focus the sunlight in the in, inside of the box and the food will get cooked that is the hot box solar cooker then panel type solar cooker as per the name panel type so panel type solar cooker for that what they have said panel cooker use a simple technology there are more than one panel to fold out sunlight radiation and in this way the panel solar cooker ensures the efficient cooking that means number of panels are there and due to that more sunlight get absorbed and due to that more heat will be generated and due to that the more food will be cooked that means efficiency of the cooking the food will be increased in the panel type solar cooker then third type is nothing but the parabolic dish type solar cooker so let's see what is the parabolic type solar cooker i also have shown one diagram related to the parabolic type solar cooker in the last lecture so those who have not seen you can see that or in this lecture i am going to show you in details all types of solar cooker cells so parabolic dish solar cookers can attain heat up to the 250 degree celsius the cooker lack flat panel and instead one with a parabolic dish or plate this dish acts as a lens to focus the sunlight at certain points this kind of solar cookers are highly efficient in enabling fast cooking all of you understand that that is the fast cooking system that is the parabolic dish solar cooker then fourth number the vacuum tube cooker so let's see what is the vacuum tube cooker so vacuum tube solar cooker comprises a pair of tubes 
care of tubes are there the tubes heat insulators have a vacuum in between them it ensures that the heat is reflected on the outer tube perfectly and then get absorbed by the inner tubes in this way it helps reduce in the cooking times all of you understand that is nothing but the vacuum tube cooker so that's are generally four types of cookers are there hot box cooker or box type cooker panel type solar cooker parabolic dish type solar cooker and vacuum tube solar cooker so we are going to see that all types of solar cookers in the details type of solar cookers you can see at here this is box type solar cooker this is also type of solar cooker you can see at here this is kind of parabolic solar cooker and uh, this is the mechanism of box cookers okay you can see reflector at here this is reflector these are glasses or plastic covers this is you can see at here this is cook pot and this is black colored interior so black colored interior is also used at here this is parabolic cooker so you can see at here this is parabolic reflector and uh, this is cooking pot and uh, this is support arm you can see at here so before knowing that let me tell you different types of solar cooker first so this is kind of solar panel cooker okay these are type of solar panel cooker this is solar para parabolic cooker okay you can see at here and this is solar box cooker okay so in these three kinds of solar cooker the parabolic solar cooker is the best as it is much advanced in nature than the other two and is more efficient to use so parabolic cooker is the best one before telling me how to prepare the solar cooker i want to tell you the working of solar cooker first so that you will understand the basic mechanism of solar cookers so a solar cooker is a container or a device that traps solar energy and helps in heating and cooking food it mainly works on three principles so what are these three principles first one is concentration second one is absorption and third one is retention a solar cooker has a mirror that helps in letting the sun's ultraviolet rays and converts it into infrared light rays the infrared radiation has the power to make the protein fat and water molecules present inside the food to shake vigorously which heats up the food a lid is used to cover the food kept inside the pot so that the heat energy does not escape an effective solar cooker thus helps in capturing heats and cooks food so this is kind of solar cooker we are talking about so now i'm going to tell you how to make solar cooker before going to make a solar cooker we can have some basic requirements so let me tell you the basic requirement what are these basic requirements so first one is a dark colored pot preferably black with a lid a dark pot is required because a dark object gets heated up quickly now we require large glass bowl or a transparent covering that will allow the rays of the sun to reach the dark cooking pot inside which pot food is kept this helps in increasing the temperature and also prevents the heat from escaping out now you will require an extra material that will help you increase the sunlight inside the cooking pot a mirror is generally used for this purpose as it can reflect the sunlight inside the cooker apart from a mirror an aluminum foil too can be used okay the more the sun rays the more heat and faster the food gets cooked so these are the basic requirement now for preparing a solar cooker you first need to understand the concept behind it you require the following apparatus to prepare one so first one is a reflective surface to trap heat that will be an aluminum foil or mirror cardboard box or scissors and box box knife transparent plastic bag to seal the opening or closing the solar cooker well from all sides a dark pot containing food okay dark pot you need dark pot newspapers to tap up uh, tap them inside the box for proper insulation a transparent bowl and a ruler to set the angle of the sun rays for cooking food so these are the basic things and now we are going to form the cooker now a reflective surface plays a vital role in making a solar cooker it is generally made of mirror or aluminum foil this helps in trapping sunlight and directing it towards the pot inside the cooker the pot that is dark in color black is used because 
dark objects attract it if not then you can place a black metallic sheet at the bottom of the cooker and then place the pot above it okay so first you have formed a box and then you form the pot okay and uh, you need to cover the cooker with a plastic with a plastic or a glass sheet which again helps in trapping the rays of the sun and helps the food to get cooked covering the solar cooker from all sides also reduces the cooking time so let me tell you before that before winding up the my discussion this is the basic thing we are talking about this is box cooker you can see out here this is these are reflectors so you can you can use aluminum foil for this purpose also uh, you can use mirror too and second one is this this part glass or plastic cover and this is used for it creates the greenhouse effect and uh, this is black colored interior you can see at here and this is cooking pot so this is how we can make the solar cooker 